Hello and welcome to the latest construction progress update for Salesforce Tower in Chicago. It's been a very productive winter for both the base building team and the Salesforce tenant improvement team. Steel framing is all the way to level 55, getting close to reaching the top of the building. Concrete pours for the floor slabs are up to level 47, and curtain wall has reached level 37. Inside the building, metal stud framing and drywall are going in, reaching all the way to level 27 so far. In this view, we can see stacks of metal track for walls awaiting installation. Core restrooms are also coming along nicely, with plumbers installing piping for fixtures, electricians wiring for power, and mill workers installing toilet partitions, countertops, and finishes. Elevators have also started to go in. Salesforce Tower is split into three sections, served by separate passenger elevator banks. Low-rise elevators serve floors 7 through 21, mid-rise elevators serve floors 21 through 37, and high-rise elevators serve floors 37 through 57. At the moment, workers are installing elevator rails and frames for the low-rise and mid-rise elevator shafts. The large blue and yellow machines we see here will sit at the top of each elevator shaft. They spin to coil and uncoil the suspension cables that pull the elevators up and down along the rails in the shaft. While the base building construction continues to move along, the tenant improvement team is full speed ahead on the design of the Salesforce floors. Architectural design is challenging in that every new space is unique and the design team only gets one chance to get it right. The team can use a variety of tools and techniques to ensure that there are no surprises once the contractor builds the space and Salesforce moves in. One such tool is the mock-up. Think of the mock-up like an architectural prototype, built quickly with inexpensive materials that allow Salesforce stakeholders to walk the space and get a feel for size, scale, placement, and transparency of spaces before they're built. Foam board can represent walls, transparent plastic can represent glass, tape and paper cutouts on the floor can represent furniture and equipment, and black plastic wrap can represent AV displays. Stakeholders are invited to walk through the mock-ups and provide feedback for incorporation into the drawings. This way, the design is that much more refined and accurate when it comes time to actually build the space. This reduces the risk of expensive changes later on when the contractor is building out the tenant interiors. That concludes the site visit. Thank you for watching.